and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kelly. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So as you would have seen by the title, I do have yet another Babylon handbag unboxing to share with you guys. Babylon were really kind and offered to send me another bag this month to review on my channel and also share with my audience. And it has been sitting here for a little while, but I have been a bit under the weather recently, hence why I sound the way that I do, but I'm feeling well enough today to be able to film even though I look very tired like my under eyes are so dark and my eyes are extremely bloodshot not last night but the night before I didn't sleep at all I just could not stop coughing and then my toddler woke up I think around the two o'clock mark he'd woken up six times before that before 1am he'd woken up six maybe even seven times and then, um, yeah, we were up from like two o'clock. So I'm very tired, but nonetheless, I did want to get this video filmed for you guys because I one, want to see the bag for myself because I don't actually look at the bags until I do the unboxings. And two, I also know that it's going to be a beautiful handbag because every bag that I've had from Babla has not disappointed me. And so I wanted to share it with you. So if you do want to see what I picked up, then just keep watching. I also just wanted to make a quick note on here and just to let anybody know if they're potentially new to my channel if I'm doing any type of unboxing where I'm showing a handbag because I got a comment saying that I was lying saying that a fake bag was a real bag I will never have a real designer bag on this channel so I just want to put that out there I don't buy real designer um, items because I just don't think that they're worth the price tag I don't have the budget for that and that's just not my sort of thing if you're into much more expensive luxury fashion and accessories then this isn't the channel for you so um i would respectfully request that you maybe just click off my video rather than leaving me a nasty comment because i'm just going to delete it i'm not meaning to deceive anyone i would never vouch for a company that i didn't believe in and that i didn't get a nice piece from but i do just want to put that out there that these items are not the authentic items so yeah, I hope that makes sense. My brain's all over the place at the moment, but I just wanted to put that out there in case anybody was confused. I don't buy the real thing. So you'll see the bag comes in this Prada box. It's smaller than I was expecting, but I feel like it's gonna work out because I don't have a lot of like date night bags, kind of like dinner out bags, smaller bags. So maybe this is a blessing in disguise, but I actually thought it was gonna be bigger but that was my mistake for not reading the measurements. So I also just wanted to put a quick disclaimer. This bag was kindly gifted to me, but the video is not sponsored. So all opinions are my own and I've not been asked to say anything. I thought I would just put that out there really nice and early. Also, if you are interested in shopping this exact item, it will be linked down in the description box for you along with a discount code. So you can save yourself some money at checkout. There will also be the link to the Babylon website so you can shop their entire catalog and see all sorts of bits and pieces that they carry because they do have a very, very wide range of bags that they carry on their website. If you want a little bit more information about Babla handbags, check out some of my previous videos where I give you more information about the company themselves, the shipping time, etc., etc. because they really are fantastic and I've had nothing but incredible experiences with them and I feel like their staff are very friendly. The person that I speak back and forth with is always so courteous, so kind and yeah, I have nothing but good things to say about Babla. So anyway, moving on. Like I say, it comes in at this box, which obviously adds to the experience. You can do an option where you save, I think around $20 and you can not have the branded box. But if you do want the full luxury experience, which obviously, I mean, it's just part of it, isn't it? And you get to keep your bag safe in a nice, beautiful box. So I always go for the box with my choice. And I love the way these boxes are designed where they have kind of like the handles. As you can see here, we've just got some plain white tissue paper. If I sniff in this video as well, I'm really sorry. I know that that really grosses some people out. I just, I keep catching myself every now and again. I'll try and edit out as many sniffs as I possibly can, but yeah, the girls are a little sniffly, not gonna lie. So, we have our little Prada. I don't know if it's a care card or an authenticity card. I'll have a quick look. But like I do say in a lot of my unboxing videos, this part doesn't interest me, but I will just show you just so that I can say that I have. Yeah, it basically just shows an authenticity card. It looks like that. 
and then just yeah like a little booklet thing so we then have a very small Prada dust bag very soft dust bag not really a lot I can say about it and then the bag is actually packaged inside as well but do you see what I mean it's very small I was expecting it to be a much larger handbag but let's see what we have oh <sighs> So I've gone for a little bit of a different colour. I seem to gravitate towards black bags very, very frequently. Every now and again, I'll chuck in a little bit of maybe like a tan colour. And so I wanted to switch it up with my choice this time round. And it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. So it comes like this in this absolutely stunning kind of like tan colour. And I'm assuming that the um, strap is on the inside to attach these bits together but this is how it comes so I'm assuming you kind of like set it up yourself this is so beautiful I've got nothing like this in my collection oh my goodness I feel like this would go really nicely with this outfit actually maybe for like a dinner date or something or drinks out not that I drink but I mean I could go out for a soft drink I guess so I'll come in a little bit closer as you can see we've got the Prada here in the middle and then the bag is tan with gold hardware. Oh, I absolutely love this bag. So I'm going to, so by the looks of it, ooh. so there's just some padding on the inside to kind of keep the integrity of the bag so it doesn't lose its shape. Oh, and it comes with two straps. That's cool. So, does it come with two straps or a strap and a bag extender? Let's see. So by the look of it, oh, cute. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So you can take this shorter strap and then you can pop it onto the bag like this. I'll be back in like 20 minutes. So you have a strap like that so you can wear it as a shoulder bag which is kind of like how I saw it advertised on their website but you do have a shoulder strap which is adjustable if you can see there's a little buckle here and you have different holes that you can put that in so you can add an adjustable strap onto the bag as well which is really perfect especially for a bag this size because potentially you would want to wear it as a crossbody so I slotted the um, strap the shoulder strap in through this gap here popped it onto here and then if you can see they've got little d-rings here which is where you attach the crossbody strap absolutely blown away this bag is so stunning i'm in love with the color and i really do feel like it's going to be perfect for this time of the year i cannot wait to style this bag up i really need something where i don't need a very big bag so i don't think that i'm going to get a huge huge amount of wear out of this because it is a relatively small bag but I do feel like if I went to dinner or drinks or anything like that or a night out, which I don't plan on having any nights out, but any event where I would need a smaller bag, I am really excited to wear this. I will obviously show you kind of like the close up features of the bag. So like I mentioned, the hardware is gold. And then I'm trying to show you, can you see on the zip, it just has Prada written there. And it's just very beautifully made. The stitching is really uniform. The quality of the bag as well. I'm gonna cough one second. So this is the Prada Arke, Arke? I don't know. Um, but it's the Prada shoulder bag basically and it's in their cognac color. And this is part of their high range. So if you've watched any of my previous Babylon videos, then you will know that they have two different quality tiers. They have high and they have medium quality. And this is from the high category. That's why I wouldn't expect anything less than it being incredibly high quality because that's obviously what you pay for. These are the more expensive bags rather than the medium quality ones because obviously, like I say, there's just more attention to detail with the top quality ones. And so that obviously does reflect in the price. And I think this one off the top of my head was $338. The quality of the material feels really, really nice as well. 
I also love the fact that you'll be able to wear this bag multiple ways, depending on your size, depending on your shape, your height, that sort of thing. I really do feel like this would fit so, so, so many people because it is so adjustable. So even if you want to wear it as a shoulder bag, you can adjust it to different lengths. And then again, as a crossbody, you can adjust it to different lengths. So that is just an amazing feature to have for this bag. When you open it up, it's just a big open compartment and there is a little slip pocket at the back, just a really wee little one. And with this bag, I do feel like you'd be able to fit a decent amount of stuff in there. If you wanted to carry a slim card holder, that would fit. Your phone would fit. So I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max and I do believe that would fit in this bag. I think there'd be just enough amount of room in there. You could fit some keys, you could fit some lip products, um, maybe like a compact mirror. But I definitely think that you'd be able to fit all of your essentials in this bag. But obviously, I don't think this would be an everyday bag unless you were maybe just kind of going for a coffee date. That would be super cute, actually, just to wear this for a coffee date. The quality of the zip, as you can see, is also very, very beautiful. And I just think it's a very stunningly designed bag. I don't know if that's a word, stunningly. But I really do feel like it's a stunning quality and stunning, like, striking looking bag because... To me, when you look at it like this, I do feel like it looks very simple, but it has so much effect. And I'm absolutely blown away with it. I feel like it just looks, it looks like it's not trying to show off, but it makes a statement. It's very, very beautiful, very eye-catching. And I think it's like the Prada logo in the middle mixed with the brown of the bag as well. I just, I absolutely love the color of this bag. So I am going to show you what it looks like on my body type, just to let you know I am five foot six and I'm a UK size 10 to 12. So just to take that into consideration. Okay, so this is it against me. I feel like it goes so nicely with this dress and now I just, all I want to do is go out for dinner. It is absolutely perfect. I am so in love with this bag. It fits perfectly the way that I put it on the first holes. That's my ideal way to have a handbag it's not too high up so if you were layering up an outfit or if you were wearing a trench coat then i think you would be fine wearing this handbag there'd be plenty of room it's not tucked up too tight into my armpit which is really really nice and i feel like just that little kind of it poking out there is just just enough to completely elevate this very simple green dress do you not i like poking out the back so stunning I absolutely love it. I will show you the cross body strap as well in case anyone is interested. We always love a good multifunctional handbag, do we not? And the clasps, if I just come in a bit closer, the clasps are nice and thick on this one. And that is perfectly adjusted to my body type. If you've seen any of my previous handbag unboxings slash try-ons where I try on a cross body bag, this is the perfect height for me, hitting just on my hip. I don't really like it any higher or any lower than this. This is absolutely perfect. And I have that adjusted on the third hole up from the bottom, if you can see. And you can go higher and lower. So I just wanted to mention really quickly, I already said that the hardware was gold, but on the crossbody strap, you do have Prada engraved on the hardware which is just such a beautiful and very extravagant extra touch, which I'm very much appreciative of. Also, the quality of the crossbody strap is really good on this bag. Um, there's no misstitching, there's no kind of like fraying anywhere. It's all very uniform and it's just very, very well made, I have to say. I'm just really thoroughly impressed with the quality of this bag. And like I say, it is exceptionally beautiful. So yet again, I really do feel like Babala have absolutely knocked it out of the park with this bag. It is incredibly stunning and very good quality. So if you are, like I mentioned earlier, interested in shopping this exact bag, then I will make sure to leave it linked down in the description box for you so you can purchase it for yourself. 
please don't forget to use that discount code. It's not an affiliate code, but I don't make anything off of that code if you use it at checkout, just to let you know. I just thought if I can save you guys some money, then obviously I would love to do that. So that is everything for today's video. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then please do remember to give it a thumbs up just to let me know. Also consider hitting subscribe, it is free and I would love to have you come back and watch more videos. Other than that, I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are and I hope to see you next time. Bye.